speaking English confidently. The secret to speaking English confidently is to listen to powerful mini story lessons like we are going to do right now. Okay? So, our story today is about a boy and a parrot. A boy and a parrot. Let's start. There is a boy named Jack. Jack has a small green parrot. Okay, so this is our special guest today, Jack's parrot. The parrot's name is Kiwi. K-W- K-I-W-I, Kiwi. Questions. The power of mini story lessons are asking, the power is asking questions about the story. So, is there a boy or is there a girl? There is a boy. A boy. There is a boy. How many boys are there in our story? One, two, three, four, five. One. There's one boy. There's one boy. Okay? What is his name? Is his name Jack? Is his name Kiwi? Is his name Felipe? What is his name? Jack. His name is Jack. J A C K. Jack. Now, what does Jack have? What does our special Jack have? Does he have a computer? Does he have a laptop? Does he have a tablet? Does he have a... Sorry. Does he have a... What does Jack have? Does he have a computer? Does he have a tablet? Does he have a laptop? Does he have an iPhone? What does he have? A parrot. P-A-R-R-O-T. Jack has a Parrot. Okay? Jack has a parrot. The parrot is green. Jack has a green parrot. Jack has a parrot. The parrot is small. Jack has a small parrot. The parrot is small. The parrot is green. It is a small parrot. It is a green parrot. 
it is a small green parrot. Parrot. P A R R O T. Parrot. Now, what is the name of the parrot? Kiwi. K I W I. Kiwi. What is the name of the boy? Jack. What is the name of the parrot? Kiwi. The boy is named Jack. J A C K. The parrot, the parrot's name is Kiwi. K I W I. Now, does Jack have a dog? Yes or no? The power of mini story lessons is teaching you to think and answer automatically in English. So you don't become a parrot. Because in real life, it's not about listening and repeating. Many teachers, many videos, many apps, they ask you, they train you to listen and repeat, listen and repeat, listen and repeat. And then you become a parrot. But you, you can't think and answer automatically in English, quickly, instantaneously. And in real life, you are going to have to listen native speakers. And then you cannot repeat. What's your name? What's your name? You have to listen, think, and answer quickly in English. You do not have time to translate. You don't have time to think or to... Uh, no, no. You have to be quick. Bah, listen and answer. Okay? And this is the power of the mini story lessons. They teach you to think and answer think and interact. So, as I tell the story and as I ask questions, if you feel comfortable, if you feel like answering Whatever you are, open your mouth and answer. Okay? There's a boy. His name is Jack. Jack has a small green parrot named Kiwi. Does he have a dog? Yes or no? No, he doesn't. Does he have a cat? No, he does not. He does not have a cat. Jack has a parrot. What is the color of Jack's parrot? Is the parrot white? No, it is not. Is the parrot black? The parrot is green. Is the parrot big, large? No. The parrot is small and green. Now, parrot is a bird 
famous for repeating back to you every single word you say to the parrot. If you get to a parrot and you say, morning, morning, iMac, iMac, ring light, ring light, iPhone, iPhone, a parrot cannot talk. A parrot cannot answer questions. A parrot will only repeat back to you what you said to it. Just like many English students, they cannot answer questions. They cannot speak to real people in real life. They can only repeat what they listen, what they hear. They are like parrots. Th th this is not the point. This is not definitely what you should be. You have to be much more than a parrot. You cannot only be an English repetition machine, okay? Like a parrot. So the parrot is, parrots are famous for repeating exactly what they hear. Now, let me ask you a question. In Brazil, we have a famous TV host, a woman, because in her TV show, she has the most famous parrot in Brazil. And her parrot can talk. They have conversations. Her parent does not only repeat what she says. Her parent, her parrot can talk, can think, it can answer. What is the name of the woman? And what is the name of the, her parrot? What is her name? Ana Maria Braga. What is the name of Ana Maria Braga's parrot? Louro José. Parrot. Parrot. If somebody is repeating you, repeating everything you say, it happens sometimes. Às vezes nossos filhos, sei lá, alguém pirraçando a gente, fica repetindo. They start repeating every single word we say. In English, we have the expression Stop parroting me. Stop parroting, parrot, I-N-G. Stop parroting me around. Stop parroting me. Okay? So, Ana Maria, our story in our story, there is a boy. His name is Jack. Jack has a small green parrot. Jack has a parrot. The parrot is small. Jack has a small parrot. Jack has a parrot. The parrot is green. 
Jack has a small green parrot. The parrot's name is Kiwi. Jack, J-A-C-K, has a parrot. The parrot's name is Kiwi, K-I-W-I. Ana Maria has a parrot. Ana Maria's parrot's name is Louro José. Louro José. Does Jack have a dog? No, he doesn't. Does he have a cat? No, he does not. What does Jack have? A small green parrot. What about you? Do you have a parrot? Have you ever had a parrot in your life? Do you have a dog? Do you have cats? Yes or no? What are their names? Do you have a dog? Yes, I do. What is the name of the dog? Do you have dogs? What are their names? Do you have cats? What are their names? Do you have a parrot? What is your parrot's name? In your life, have you ever had a parent? Have you ever had a parent in your life? Yes or no? For example, me, Felipe, I have no dogs today, okay? I have no dogs today, but I have had dogs in the past. Five, six, seven dogs, maybe. So, se você perguntar para mim, Felipe, do you have dogs? No, not today. Have you ever had a dog? Yes, I have. I have had dogs in my life. E aí eu estou te perguntando. What about you? Do you have dogs? Yes or no? Do you have cats? Yes or no? Do you have a parrot? Yes or no? Do you have dogs? Yes. What are their names? How, how many dogs do you have? One, two, three. How many dogs do you have? What are their names? Tenta responder, tá? Aqui que tá o poder das mini stories. Na vida real, você não tem que ouvir e ficar repetindo igual um parrot. Na vida real, você tem que ouvir e interagir, responder. E é aqui, esse é o único caminho descoberto até hoje para treinar a tua mente para fazer isso. Então, se conseguir, se sentir à vontade, responde. Se não, também fica só ouvindo. Tá tranquilo. Do you have cats? Yes or no? Do you have a parrot? Yes or no? Have you ever had a parrot in your life? Yes or no? Now, in our... Volta pra história. In our story, there is a boy his name is Jack. Jack has a small green parrot. The parrot's name is Kiwi. And one day, something very 
bad happens. Kiwi flies away. Kiwi disappears. That's what birds do. Birds fly. We walk. Yes or no questions. Can you walk? Yes. Can you run? Yes. Can you jump? Yes, I can. Can you fly like a bird? No, I can't. We can't fly. We human beings, seres humanos, we cannot fly because we do not have wings. Wings is what birds, birds have wings, <coughs> sorry, birds have wings and this is how they fly, <laughs> using their wings up and down, <laughs> that's how they fly, okay? Can birds walk? No, they can't. Can a bird, can a parrot run? No, it cannot run. Can birds jump? Hmm. That maybe, né, pode se dizer que sim. Arguably, yes. Can birds fly? Yes, they can. This is one of the most famous characteristics of birds. They have wings, wings, and they use their wings to fly. Now, what happened? One day. Questions. Did something good happen? Did something bad happen? Something bad happened. What happened one day? Kiwi flew away. Kiwi flew away. Kiwi disappeared. Kiwi disappeared. Kiwi escaped. Kiwi flew away. Who flew away one day? Who? Ana Maria Braga, Louro José, Jack, Felipe. Who flew away? Kiwi. Kiwi flew away. <laughs> what did Kiwi do one day? Q 
Kiwi flew away. Kiwi escaped, disappeared. Kiwi flew away. When did Kiwi fly away? When did he fly away? Who flew away? Kiwi. What did Kiwi do one day? Kiwi flew away. When did Kiwi fly away? When did Kiwi disappear? One day. <coughs> Sorry? One day. We don't know when exactly. One day. Okay? The story does not say. Now, where did Kiwi go? We don't know. The story does not say where Kiwi went. We don't know. The story does not say. Now, continue the story. There is a boy, his name is Jack. Jack has a small green parrot. Parrot, the bird that is famous for repeating back to you every single word you speak to the parrot. Whatever you say to the parrot, the parrot repeats back to you iphone iphone ring light ring light okay jack has a parrot jack has a small parrot jack has a green parrot the parrot is green the parrot is small jack has a small green parrot the parrot's name is kiwi Ana Maria has a parrot. Ana Maria Braga has a parrot. Ana Maria's parrot's name is Louro José. Okay? Jack has a parrot. Jack has a small green parrot. The parrot's name is Kiwi. Kiwi can talk. Kiwi can talk, just like Louro José. Kiwi does not only repeat what you say, like many English students. Kiwi can talk, like Louro José. And Kiwi, one day, Kiwi flies away. Jack is very sad. No, when you are sad, you are suffering. You feel like crying. <laughs> no, Kiwi. No. No. Kiwi disappeared. Jack was sad. The opposite of happy. Okay? Kiwi disappeared. Kiwi flew away, Jack got very sad.
Jack looks for Kiwi. Jack wants to locate, to encounter, to find Kiwi. So Jack looks for Kiwi. To look for is to try to find, to try to locate, to encounter. <laughs> Who was looking for Kiwi? Who? Ana Maria Braga? No. Louro José? No. Felipe? No. Jack, who was looking for Kiwi? Jack, who was Jack looking for? Kiwi, who was looking for Kiwi? Jack. Who was Jack looking for? Kiwi. He was looking for Kiwi. What was Jack doing? Looking for Kiwi. How was Jack feeling? Was he happy? Was he excited? Was he energized? Was he motivated? How was Jack feeling when he was looking for Kiwi? He was sad. He was sad. He was suffering. Now, why was Jack sad? Why was Jack suffering? Because Kiwi flew away. Kiwi disappeared. Kiwi got lost. Okay? So, Jack looks for Kiwi. Jack looks for Kiwi. He finds Kiwi in a tree. He locates, encounters, Finds Kiwi in a tree. Kiwi is happy to see Jack. They go home. How was Jack feeling? Sad. Why was Jack sad? Because Kiwi flew away. Kiwi disappeared. No, there was no Kiwi anymore. So Jack was sad. What did he do? He started looking for Kiwi. He started trying to find, trying to locate Kiwi. Did he find Kiwi? Yes or no. Did Jack find Kiwi? Yes or no. Yes, he did. He found Kiwi. He located Kiwi. He encountered Kiwi. 
Where did Jack find Kiwi? Where was Kiwi? Where was Kiwi located? In a tree. Who was Kiwi located by? Who found Kiwi in a tree? Who located Kiwi in a tree? Jack. Who did Jack find in a tree? Who did Jack locate in a tree? Kiwi. Where did Jack find Kiwi? In a tree. How was Jack feeling when he was looking for Kiwi? Sad. Suffering. Crying. No. Oh, Kiwi, Kiwi, come back. How did Jack feel when he found, when he located Kiwi? Happy, excited. How did Kiwi feel when Jack found him? How did Kiwi feel when Jack located him? Happy, Kiwi was happy to see Jack. And what did they do after that? They went home. Who went home? Jack and Kiwi. Where did Jack and Kiwi go? Home. They went home. How were they feeling when they went home? Happy, excited, energized. Why? Why were they happy when they went home? What was the reason? Because Kiwi was lost and Jack located found, looked for and found, located, Kiwi, and they went home. Este foi um, um, ou mais especificamente, o primeiro primeiro dos oito passos que cada uma das 30 mini stories pilar fundamental do novo programa que eu estou lançando hoje tem são 30 mini stories cada mini story tem oito passos esse foi o primeiro de uma das 30 mini stories, que é o Asking the Stories. Depois, você pega esse áudio e ouve. Depois, você pega o áudio só da história, condensada. There is a boy, his name is Jack. Jack has a small green parrot. Só a história. E aí você ouve lendo. Depois você ouve lendo e tenta falar. Depois você ouve, aí tem lá os desafios opcionais, 
e depois você ouve. O final é tentar escrever a mini história com a sua voz no bloco de notas do seu celular. Tá? São oito passos, mini stories, mais a Escola da Fluência Completa, meu programa de fluência para adultos completo, todos os meus intensivos, Sherlock Holmes, Marley e eu, Nasce Uma Estrela, Sherlock Holmes 2, Hamlet, toda a chave biológica, que são os vídeos motivacionais de estravamento mental, comunidade, onde a gente vai conversar, interagir, debater, responder, se ajudar, a competição, que é a corrida pela fluência, com prêmios, pontos que você troca por prêmios, garrafa, camiseta, caneca. E 13 e 14 de dezembro, no final do ano, a imersão aonde eu vou em Jaquetar. Aonde eu vou colocar a jaqueta dos 5% fluentes em pelo menos 30 novos adultos. A nossa imersão, 13 e 14 de dezembro, aonde eu vou graduar pelo menos 50 novos fluentes. Eu vou encher outro palco desse e vou graduar 50 novos fluentes.